common for people to see things that aren't real. Have you ever seen things like this before? I had an imaginary friend when I was a kid. His name was Daniel. He was my best friend. He was my only friend. It's kind of a strange notion, but maybe you should try to connect with that part of yourself again. You needed my help. Last time I saw you, you were this kid bursting with imagination. You need to break out and live. I bet you can get a phone number from any girl at this party. You're a painter? You're an artist too, Luke. I do photography sometimes. I'm here because you're here. I'm part of you. What's that thing uh, behind me? Your shadow I saw something full of danger. Mystery. He's taking over. He's making me do things that I don't want to do. You did this. Yeah. I imagined it. I can make you go away. Daniel is simply an aspect of your mind. I'm scared of what I could do. When you painted me, you saw a shadow. What did he look like? He's weak. He's lonely. And he's nothing without me. An ounce of pot. Best of luck out there, Russell. One day at a time. Your parole will be satisfied in a few months, and then you can start to start over. Life isn't going the way I thought. I struggle with myself so much. I don't even know what I'm doing with myself anymore. with me you do know you can't take home a van and children right i could adopt her we know about your record you're still a parolee in the good state of california do you have a bus to wyoming round trip or one way one way so long to get here. Being a street dog isn't so bad at all. He's a champ. I'm free to be whoever I want to be. Ah, hey! But we love him. Whoa! Walk wherever I want to walk. Hey, hi. Are you two uh, twins? I'm her husband, pal. Aha. Eat whatever I want to eat. He's a trap. We are you know what? Him. Fine. And we know he'll always stay. Just remember, I got this the old fashioned way. I stole it. Hey! Come back here! Whoa! Snob Hill. There we go. I got my collar. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Let me just take a little guess here. You're the center of your people's universe, right? You could say that. Your family's just 
about perfect. Don't, don't. Please, don't. Well, lady, that's basically all over now. You're about to be replaced. <laughs> Replace me? I don't think so. Lady, this is Lulu. When the baby moves in, the dog moves out. Help me get this thing off. I'm sorry. This is not awkward at all. This way. Yeah, it's totally safe. I'm not gonna do that. You're crazy. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> wow. What is this place? There's a great big world out there. With no fence around it. Every day could be an adventure. In 1969, a dog was launched into space. But an accident transformed him into a superhero. I just realized I haven't eaten for 50 years. Now, lost in a future where everyone hates animals, he needs to find a super sidekick. Uh, nap time. Yeah, I'm way bigger than I look. The hero Glenfield deserves Turbo Gas. A cat? Oh, I should have not. God's mission is to protect the animals of Glenfield. When Officer Peck finds a dangerous, unhygienic stray animal, they're never seen again. I just really need to see my owner again. Will you use your powers to help me? Huh? Ah, sorry. Can you summarize that? Get ready for the perfect family adventure. You're not just a dog, buddy. You are Stardog. <laughs> oh, wow, I can fly! With the greatest superheroes ever unleashed. Operation Fish Tank. With the voices of Luke Evans, Nick Frost, Gemma Arterton, and Bill Nye. <laughs> now, what was that about playing catch? Oh, someone wants to play catch? <laughs> Star Dog and Turbo Cat. Coming soon. Stem cell manipulation. It's not a new science, but it is the key to life. We are a research facility, one of the leaders in regenerative medicine, and we need human subjects for our work. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement. Now, your body's been through a lot. You may feel weakened. Actually, I, I feel great. There are one or two side effects of the procedure that I should mention. <laughs> Tell me more about these meat cravings. It's, it's not just the meat, it's... It's the blood. Can I help you? patients to report changes in taste post-surgery. It's a side effect of the anesthesia. How's your appetite? I'm hungry all the time. So you're vacationing in Zambia, huh? 
Mm-hmm. Let me guess. You're from L.A.? New York. Yes. I take it Mr. Conrad won't be joining us? Two days ago, he told me that our marriage was over. Uh, Two hours ago, I landed here on what was supposed to be our second honeymoon <laughs> by myself. A lot of people come here to get lost so they can be found again. Thank you, Yoda. Oh, you're coming on this too? Yep. Tara Collinsworth, in case you want to write my name down on a complaint form. Oh, you're the pilot. We're flying over the largest game reserve in Africa. Hang on, I'm gonna make a stop. What? A stop? Where? Stay in the plane. Hook him back. Poachers killed the mama for tusks. We don't do something to help that baby. We'll be dead in two days. I want to help. Didn't see that one coming. Hi, Mom. How's Safari? Well, I took a little detour. Is it going to be okay? It'll be touch and go for a while, but we will do our best. I'm in this place surrounded by wild animals. Hey, New York. Oh, sorry. Um... We are coming home, right? This year, it's going to be Christmas in Africa. What is Christmas in Africa? Well, I can't speak for the whole continent, but here at the Elephant Orphanage, they celebrate all week, and there is no shopping involved. Now I'm really starting to worry. Now I've got to go back home, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with myself. Maybe you're doing it here. This is how it starts. We meet an elephant, and so begins the relationship of a lifetime. Take good care of my elephant. Our elephant! Uh -huh. He and I were just friends. Mm-hmm. Since you didn't get to go on your fancy five-star safari, let me take you on one. With a little less stars. Like three? Thinking more like two. I haven't seen you let someone in in a long time. If I've learned anything, it's to not get too attached. I never meant to stay this long. You're falling in love. Huh? With Africa. You know what that is? What? Mistletoe. That is definitely not mistletoe. That is African mistletoe. <laughs>